Jimmy, you're in here for the concert tonight, and where do you go after today? Um, Huntsville, Alabama. And then we're about a third of the way through the whole tour. We go from there uh, up through we do Atlanta, Birmingham, up through the Carolinas, and then we finish in Florida. Uh, about the first of April. We uh, actually April Fool's Day is the end of the tour. <laughs> is it a good day to end the tour? I don't know yet. So far, it's gone very well though. The tour's going good then. How about the new album? The album's doing fine too. It's selling good and, and staying in up there. So I'm real pleased. How long has it been since you've been back down on the coast? To I think it's been about well to play. This has uh, been about two years since we've been there. Um, for me, it's I was down. I'm always coming through to see my folks in Mobile, and usually slip by um, between New Orleans and Mobile. I always stop in Mary Mahoney's for a crab sandwich. is usually my stop because <laughs> it's close, you know. But uh, it's always nice, especially now that the weather started seems to be warming up a bit. It's going to be a nice way to end the tour in the spring. As passing through the coast as you do, what kind of changes have you noticed over the years? the growth or just the changes in people? Uh, it, it's pretty much, you know, in perspective, as much traveling as I do around the country and around the world, it seems to, uh, seems to remain pretty consistent to me, you know? Um, maybe that's because it's got the hell knocked out of it by the hurricane, and that probably retarded growth, there, but it's, it's nice. I always like to come back. The shrimp and seafood still taste the same? Yeah, this is the eating part of the tour, and you know, from Baton Rouge through uh, Biloxi, I mean, we get to eat a little bit now, and it beats uh, room service. We just finished five days straight through Texas, and then so it's nice to be heading down to get some decent food. Okay, where are you going as far as movie soundtracks now? Are you doing anything? Are you doing any kind of commercial work or anything like that? Well, I'm doing, uh, I'm just doing some exploratory writing things with uh, uh, I did a little thing for uh, Norman Lear, and so we're, when I finish this tour, I'm going back to Los Angeles to talk to him about some, you know, some things we're talking about doing. Do you enjoy the writing part of music or the touring or? Oh, I enjoy it all. I'm sort of like I'm uh, sort of particularly getting interested in uh, in getting back into films and doing some music for it. Maybe doing a little bit of acting too. Well, as the son of a son of a sailor, is touring anything like sailing? A lot of comparisons, yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, I think the biggest comparison is probably everybody thinks that sailing is an easy thing and it's always a beautiful day. Well, uh, that's not necessarily true and it's the same way. Everybody wants to grow up to be a rock star because it looks so easy, but it's, it's, a, hard, it's a hard job. You know? it's, it's, it's quite an analogy between sailing and being on the road, believe me. Yeah, because it's not always uh, fair skies and, and calm seas, believe me. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but you do enjoy it. Oh, I enjoy it immensely. Yeah. Okay, on another, another facet of your life, you've been appointed chairman of the Save the Manatee Committee in Florida. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little about that? Well, it's a committee that uh, the governor formed last year uh, to try to do something about uh, mainly a public awareness campaign in Florida for... Um, to protect what's left of the manatee population there, which is less than a thousand now. So we put together like a, uh, a committee of uh, people from all walks of from marine uh, mammal uh, commission in Washington to marine biologists in Southern Florida to politicians and just a coalition of people to get together to make an awareness campaign especially targeted to boaters uh, along the intercoastal canals on the eastern and western shores of Florida to uh, observe the manatee sanctuaries which have been designated as protection areas and, uh, and to be cautious of the migratory patterns of them. So we've, this year despite the terribly cold uh, winter we had in Florida and we lost the quite a few manatees to the weather, which is unavoidable, really. Uh, Boating-wise, our accident ratio was down from, um, I think at this point last year, we had like 34, 35 kills uh, caused by power boats, and this year we've only had one. So we did some public service announcements, and then uh, we did some benefit concerts in Miami. Uh, it really is uh, quite rewarding, plus not only to, say, to do something about uh, protecting the manatees, but it's, it's, it's nice to see the involvement that, that all factors of, you know, the public sector get involved with, so it's, it's pretty rewarding. Some of it's tragic, but I had a good life all the way. 
he went to Paris looking for answers to questions. Four good morning, South Mississippi. This is Vester Wenzel. 